Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, I don't know what that was, uh, June 28th, 2023. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Doing another outside shot, just got to enjoy this summer as much as we can. Um, Monday, July 3rd will be a full moon, so there will be a very close to full moon full moon on the 4th of July. So hopefully that won't interfere with the uh, appearance of fireworks rising about sunset and setting around sunrise. Uh, here's the sun, big active spot pointing towards us. So we do have uh, geomagnetic activity and I have mosquito activity. Looking at drought from last week to this week, we lost almost all of it. We are very close to 100% drought free. Now, it's been dry for a couple of weeks and on the, on the uh, western slopes and we have another couple weeks of dryness going over there. So maybe drought's gonna start to slip back in. Looking nationally, uh, we have a little shifting of the Midwest drought to the north but for the most part, the state is doing pretty good. Looking at smoke, you might have noticed some haze out here. And there is smoke coming from fires on the west coast of Mexico coming up into the state. And some going out to sea. Stuff from Canada is still circling around, but not affecting us directly. Okay, there's my silly, definitely the last week for the snow animation. We stayed up above normal for most of the time. And as we come back down, um, yesterday it said 23,000% normal. Now it just says NA because normally the snow is totally gone. But we still have snow. And we've had some years where the snow has hung on even more than this. So pretty good. Looking at the precipitation, we got tons of rain on the eastern side of the uh, mountains. Like I said, it was very crispy dry out west, but tremendous amounts of water. We had the tornado. We had swaths of hail again. Yes, we're getting a new roof here. Um, just amazing uh, stuff. So two to three inches and then five to six inches uh, in a few spots. So we have most of the rivers are running very high out on the plains. Looking at the climatology for severe weather animation. We're going third week of June. Here we go through up oh, into the first week of July. Click. It does start to decrease on the plains as we get into summer. It doesn't really change here much yet. So we have a possibility of severe weather still going and that is going to be the case. Severe thunderstorms and even I looked at the uh, radar just a few minutes ago. We had a tornado in southern Wyoming traveling right about here, going into the slight risk area for Wednesday, where we have no convection to the southwest of Longmont and Denver, so it's a very tight gradient there. But for Thursday, uh, front's coming down and it's gonna expand back to the west with a slight risk right next to us. And with that, we actually have a 2% chance of a tornado again within 25 miles of any point here. That goes, looks like it goes just about down to Longmont and Niwot. Thornton and then to the north and east. Looking for large hail on Thursday, we have a possibility in those same areas almost into Denver, maybe the northeast side of Denver, but then really quickly to the northeast it jumps up in probability. For Friday, it's marginal risk further out on the plains, but uh, that could become more severe too. Looking at the forecast future map, we have some a uh, chance of convection just north of Longmont for Wednesday, so probably very dry. But for Thursday, we got the severe chance. Here's the front hugging the uh, mountains, and we are in that risk. For Friday, just a general chance of thunderstorms. Uh, the temperatures within uh, the, the ensembles, I just think, have been biased low for a while. Um, we're going to see 80s and upper 80s, but and maybe right, right here, that's what it's trying to show, but uh, yeah, I don't know, something's kind of goofy there. Our normal high is getting close to the maximum high for the year, 87 up to 89 by about July 10th, 56 to 59 uh, for the normal low temperature. The 
highest normal high temperature is 90 and the highest highest normal low temperature is 60. So we're just a degree away from the peak. Uh, pretty good chance of uh, storms Thursday and Friday. We're going to see that in just a moment. And then after a break, afternoon thunderstorms become the pulse of the weather. So taking a look at the um, water vapor satellite image, we have thunderstorms popping up. There's one with a tornado in it. Uh, moving off to the east and we had a little thing pop up down here where there shouldn't have been convection it didn't last long it died um, the notable atmospheric events are really Thursday and Friday as this trough that's been sitting off the west coast for days weeks is going to move in as this giant ridge to our east over Louisiana right now which in hurricane season it's not the greatest news for them but there's nothing pending right now uh, here comes that low and so the thunderstorms fire Thursday afternoon and then the lows and the trough is a little bit closer and there's the thunderstorms for Friday so active right there so let's take, put this in animation and watch the trough come in for Thursday Friday and then it moves uh, off to the east, we do have a ridge replacing it on the west, in the west. And by Monday, Tuesday, there's this trough beginning to push down. And for the 4th of July, we actually have a trough passing um, just north of us, but it should have some impact on 4th of July weather. And the next Thursday, kind of a zonal flow. All right, so the temperatures um, at the surface, this map basically shows the purple circles or thunderstorms in the afternoon there, right there for uh, Friday night. But I, kind of a pool of cooler and moist air lingers over the whole region. Here's Monday, there's thunderstorms in the afternoon. Here comes July 4th, thunderstorms in the afternoon, and thunderstorms again on uh, 4th of July evening. So you just kind of see that happening, but this interesting little cool uh, spot just kind of lingers around. Looking at the total precipitatable water, how much we can get out. This is Thursday, Friday it's above normal, Saturday it dries out so we get a little bit of a break and then going into Sunday a little more moisture than Monday a lot more moisture. Tuesday, 4th of July, above normal atmospheric precipitation, or precipitable water, able to make thunderstorms of precipitation. And like that. So let's take a look at the surface moisture. This is dew points. You can see it's 50s, upper 50s, way above normal. Very moist surface for Thursday and Friday. So that gives fuel to the thunderstorms and allows them to go severe. Going into the weekend, we drop into the 30s and 40s, mountains to the plains. Then on Monday into the 4th of July, you can see there's some 50s starting to slip back in right there, 55, and really healthy moisture for uh, Tuesday night. And it kind of lingers into the next week. 50s are very moist for us. It's just hard to get the moisture this high up a mile up into the atmosphere. So looking at Thursday's thunderstorms, kaboom right there. And off they go. And then Friday, kaboom, off they go. Saturday is much quieter. And then Sunday, little chance of stuff coming through. Monday, we get a little break. And then for 4th of July, there's the thunderstorms firing off again. Uh, next Wednesday, more storms. And Thursday, more storms. So we're gonna keep the moisture going. So over the next five days, everything is, again, east of the divide. Uh, we have three quarters of an inch to an inch around Longmont, more to the north, and then bring in the next 10 days. You can see the western slopes get a little bit, but I'd like to see more moisture continue to fall out there with the higher temperatures, but we get a lot of water, according to the GFS. So it's two to three inches over much of the region. So we're, we are not going back into a drought right away at all. Long button. 
All right, so Wednesday's pretty warm, then a cool front comes in, bringing in the moisture. Pretty good chances Thursday and Friday of afternoon thunderstorms. We have our severe chance on Thursday, and it isn't far away for Friday either. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, things dry out, but it's not impossible to see a storm in the afternoon. The moisture's there. Heating is there. We got 80s, almost 90 again on Monday. We have broken 90 once now. Um, I think last year this time we'd already have 11 days at 90 or plus. And so, yeah, we're doing great for cool weather. Speaking of climate, this is the June outlook. It had us below normal for temperatures, and that did happen. So this seems to be back on track and working. They've got us right on the edge of a little bit above normal. Chances are that we'll go a little above normal for June in temperature. No, no heat wave at all. But and then looking at June, they had us above, way above normal um, in probability for precipitation. We certainly had that. And for July, they've got us equal chances above or below normal. So check out Longmont Leader and Broomfield Leader for frequent weather updates and great local news. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth telling you to keep looking up.